YouTube. Here I am again with an interesting piece. Uh, the Citizen Promaster Aqualand BN202103E. Um, this is uh, a dive watch, 200 meter waterproof. It has an eco drive system, uh, basically a uh, um, uh, quartz movement um, with a capacitor which recharges through daylight or artificial light so it's uh, maintenance free it will more or less run let's say almost forever uh, I guess after a certain lifetime uh, the battery or capacitor needs to be replaced but other than that if, uh, if it's regularly charged if it's just kept running they seem to be quite uh, long lasting, uh, so runtime of 10 15 years seems to be possible. Um, as you can see, this is not a new watch I have here, this is a used watch. It has uh, some things, nicks and dings here and there, um, but it is um, yeah, still in pretty good condition uh, considering that it is already a couple of years old. Um, this is um, at least six, seven years old. And um, so, um, yeah, it has, it has uh, of course, gone through some tough times with me. Um, and uh, considering that, it's still okay. Um, it works uh, beautifully, uh, reliable. Um, of course, quartz movement is very accurate. Um, this is a dive beast, a dive tank, whatever you want to call it. It's a huge watch. It has a diameter of 49 millimeters, uh, thickness is uh, 18 millimeters, so it is a massive watch. Um, as you can see, the bezel has this very characteristic look. Uh, and it's sometimes called the ashtray because of obvious reasons uh, that it does look a bit like an ashtray. Um, it, um, on this side, you can see the screw down crown with the ProMaster. Uh, logo on it, um, nicely knurled, uh, good good movement for the um, um, for the screw down crown, no issues. Um, so it has a very nice pop when you open it, um, and then uh, you can adjust the time and date. Um, on this side, as you can see, uh, we have the wording depth meter. Uh, which indicates uh, one of the functions of this watch, which is actually to measure or to display the actual depth um, going up to 70 meters, if I'm not mistaken, right? 70 meters here. Um, and uh, this watch comes in different color uh, schemes. There's one with a blue, um, uh, or what the hat that is yellow here is blue. There's another one that is um, kind of has a uh, rosé kind of uh, colored case. So this is uh, pure stainless steel. And um, yeah, it is simply a very functional watch. We have this water sensor right here, which um, when you immerse in water will activate the, uh, the depth meter. And um, the function is given by this depth meter here, this uh, in the middle, um, this, uh, yeah, this gizmo or this device measures the depth. Um, so we have two more screw down uh, buttons uh, on the left hand side. Um, yeah, and uh, 120 click unidirectional bezel of course, with some really good bezel action. Very, oh, let me turn around again. So, it, yeah, very nice click, uh, not too, uh, not too, too metally, not too clickety clack. It does have a little bit, it's a bit dampened, uh, but it's uh, precise there, it lines up, no issues. Um, and what is really nice, of course, um, if you're a diver, um, this is really very easy to grab and turn. I mean, even with a glove. There is almost no way you can uh, you can miss it. Uh, so very functional. Um, we have a screw down case back, um, typical citizen 
eco drive case bag nothing special uh, just some warnings not to open it <laughs> to give it to the uh, repair center um, the 200 meter waterproof uh, uh, rating um, and then uh, the movement is that the J250 um, is probably the movement which um, I mean, nothing spectacular. This is just a, an ordinary quartz movement with a um, with this uh, charging function um, using natural light, artificial light. So there must be a diode somewhere or some kind of a, a, a light uh, sensor, but uh, they do a good job to hide it. It's not visible. Um, yeah, I mean, when, when the design of this watch with all these uh, screws, these kind of uh, hex screws, um, and uh, this very rugged um, uh, design makes it very appealing. It, um, yeah, when you wear it, obviously, it does have a huge wrist presence. So um, if you don't want people to, uh, to ask you about the watch, then... Uh, don't wear it. Uh, I have been asked about this watch here and there because obviously it is um, yeah, quite unique in a certain way um, and combines uh, this uh, really rugged look um, with a, um, a very appealing design. Um, the uh, minute hand, as you can see there, is this red um, hand, is a skeletonized hand. Um, so that uh, is probably to reduce the torque requirement and just skeletonize it and uh, it becomes lighter and becomes easier to move. Um, same with the hour hand, also partially skeletonized. Um, and we have uh, a seconds hand also in red. Um, all uh, markers are loomed. Um, this watch uh, citizen uses a, a green uh, loom which um, does the job which which works uh, yeah, very very well um, this watch is ISO 6425 compliant you can see there is a, a little loom pip at the three o'clock position and uh, yeah they really did a good job there it is in line or it, it is um, on this imagined uh, imagined uh, circle uh, between the uh, two and four o'clock position. It's it's in line there uh, with some Seikos. Um, there is sometimes uh, some kind of uh, asymmetric or out out of the uh, the normal uh, alignment uh, the, uh, the the loom pip um, and that has caused a lot of uh, negative uh, comments. So here it is very well balanced um, and uh, yeah, has a very nice, uh, clearly legible um, watch face. We have um, on the left hand side, we have this little um, tank, um, like a fuel tank indicator, which um, shows uh, that the watch is uh, um, charged. Uh, so if it's on E would be empty, um, ready um, would be fully charged, and also if you uh, yeah if the watch uh, if the sensor actually detects water then the uh, the little indicator will go to ready, um, and then the uh, yeah this yellow the yellow uh, marker will then uh, begin to uh, to uh, to indicate the depth. Uh, interesting, there is a, uh, there is another um, marker below the yellow marker. Let me open this so um, that marker. I'll unscrew these buttons, uh, and then I can activate it. And the uh, the little white marker then goes to the maximum achieved depth, which would be 60 meters in this case, um, which is not really the case, uh, and not in my time anyway. Not sure where that comes from, um, but um, that is uh, the function there. Um, what does the upper one do actually? Not sure what the upper one does. 
Um, there again, I have the indication of the. Oh, okay. So this also has a, as a, uh, if you can hear it. Yeah, very, not very loud, but. Yeah. So it has a, an ascent alarm. If you ascend too quickly, it will, uh, it will warn you that um, you're not supposed to, uh, to to go up that fast. I think it's. Um, yeah, I think that in general it's uh, don't ascend faster than the air bubbles, uh, don't overtake your own air bubbles, something like that. Um, right, so let's screw them down so we, uh, we don't uh, get this watch uh, wet without the, the uh, crown screwed down. Alright guys, that I think uh, more or less covers it. Thanks. Over and out. Peace out.